Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. We are still in the 1.2 version, mainly because many of you stated that 1.5 has a couple of bugs, and 1.51 is coming out soon to fix those bugs. So I am going to wait for that, just in case it isn't save game compatible. And as a result, we are going to be heading on to Broad Arch. And we are going to try our best to take this. Now, I did head all the way over to Lannisport. And Castle Rock, I took out quite a few units from those respective fiefs, and as you can see, we have a pretty respectable army once again. So now, we can head in and do some damage. Okay, it is a ladder castle, excellent. And, whoa, that is very quick to build those ladders. I still cannot believe how quick that is. So, oh no, it's this one. Oh dear. Okay, so this layout has actually given us many, many difficulties in the past. So, let's see what we can do. Let's get our infantry and everyone else standing there. Let's get our archers standing behind them. And hopefully, we'll get a couple of ranged kills here. Otherwise, we're going to be in a very bad... Oh, wow. A very bad spot. And I've just realized I only have 26 archers and 93 cavalry. Well... That's not going to help us out too much here, is it? Well, not really. Oh no. Should I just charge in? And throw caution to the wind? Should I do that? Oh. That is not good. That is not good. Especially seeing as now Carver has just been taken out. Oh dear. Okay. What can we do? Well, we're actually not doing too badly, as far as I can tell so far. Although Carver going down was definitely a pretty severe blow, considering he does do quite a lot of damage, usually. Oh my. These guys just got pelted to death. Whoa, okay. Well, I think we've taken out 15 so far. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it. Let's charge in. Come on, cavalry. Come on, infantry. Let's go. I'm going to be leading the way here a little bit. Let's get our archers a little bit closer as well, just to make sure that they are going to be as effective as always. Okay. This is not looking good, or is it? Not so far. Not so far, that is for sure. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Actually, our Heavy Knights and our Elite Longbowmen are actually causing quite a bit of damage now, which is excellent. Now, oh no, don't jetpack me off here. Do not jetpack me. No, 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 come on. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That was close. That was very, very close. You know what happens when I get jetpacked? I die almost immediately, so... Let's try to take these guys out. We have Dark Sister. Unfortunately, she does not have any crushing abilities, so we're not able to crush through blocks as easily as we are able to with Blackfire. But I think we should be okay. We're doing all right so far. No. Okay, we cannot take any more damage from these archers. Yes, yes. Take him out. Yeah, there we go. Now, stab him. Stab that fellow, stab this guy as well. Yes, yeah, that's what you get. Unfortunately, I didn't take out this guy. So we're going to have to return and finish him off. Yes, there we go. Not bad. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is try to cut off their reinforcements as much as we can. Unfortunately, they are going to be proving rather difficult to do that. Because we do have their archers to contend with. And their archers, as we know, are actually pretty effective. Oh no. Okay, we're letting quite a few of them through, but I am doing so much damage to them that our units should be able to finish them off without too many issues. Now, this is usually where I get taken out, because this is usually the time when they swamp us and outnumber us. Maybe not? No? Oh, wow. Okay, let's take out their archers then. They're actually letting us have free reign here. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. That's pretty nice. Okay. Stab him. Stab that guy instead then, because that guy was blocking us. 
Okay. Come on. Take him out. Yes, there we go. Okay. Stab him. Stab him. Yes. That's exactly what we like to see. Now, do not shoot me. No. Okay. Yes. There we go. Lovely. Okay. We are doing quite nicely so far. I'm going to tell our archers to charge in now because they are obviously wanting to get into the action. And they may have used all of their arrows already, so I think just charging them will be fine. Oh, there's the reinforcements. Maybe I should do a little bit of damage here. Perhaps. Perhaps? No? Perhaps? Maybe? Mm. I'm thinking maybe we should probably just head on over to the archery nest instead, because I'm pretty sure our heavy knights and various other infantry units will be able to quite easily deal with their reinforcements, or at least I hope that will be the case. Because, as you see here, they are spawning in quite a few, but I do believe these newly acquired reinforcements are going to be lower tier than most of their other units that we have so far defeated in battle. So, at the moment, I am in a positive mindset, I do believe. Although we have lost 46 units to death... Which is definitely something I am not pleased about at all. But I suppose that is the cost of war. Oh my. Go on, take him out. Yes. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh no! Oh wow, I did not realize that there were other archers here. That is terrible. Okay. Yes. Take him out. There we go. Okay, exactly what I wanted to see. And... Wait a minute. There are actually a couple of archers down the stairs here. No! Do not crowd surf on the edge. Yes, thank you. My goodness, these guys are coming to assassinate us. No! It's an assassination squad. We need to be very careful. No. No, 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 no. Do not let them surround us. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what we like to see. Take him out. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, there's more. But as I said, they are actually dwindling in the amount of elite Stormlands man -at -arms and various sergeants that they can throw at us, so they only have veterans remaining. And that is exactly why we were able to take those guys out without too many issues. Now, let's see. Yeah, I think this is victory. 34 enemies remain. And it will soon be even less. Because we just took out another one of them, and... Oh my... They are running like lambs to the slaughter to Blackfire. Very nice. Now, of course, we do have a couple of units in that small structure over there, which is going to be proving rather tricky to eliminate. They are all in that small, cramped space. So it's going to be rather difficult to get to all of them, at least. But I'm going to be jumping down here. And let's see, I think I can jump down here as well. Yes, excellent. Okay, so how many do they actually have stacked up in here? Usually it's quite a lot, but hopefully not this time. Maybe? I'm not too sure. No? Wow, okay, it actually doesn't seem like that many at all. Okay, great. So at least that wasn't causing any problems. And there it is. Every single opponent has been eliminated. Exactly what we like to see right there. We did lose 52 units, but what did we lose? We lost Slaver Spearmen, Forest Bandits, mm, some Knights, and Heavy... Whoa, okay, we lost a lot of those. Ouch. But other than that, we took out 297 of the enemy, 60... Elias was able to kill, Drollo 6, Garrett 7, Brynden 2, and Alan 3. Not bad, not bad. I do believe that if Carver had survived long enough, then he would definitely have been up there on the kill counts, and that would have been excellent to see, that's for sure, because usually we don't get to see how excellent he is in combat. And there we go. Excellent. So, who do we want to give this to? Well, considering Fenner is already around here, I think we're probably just going to give that to her. Then the next one... Oh, Berengar. Ooh. Okay. I really wish I hadn't attacked the Vale, but they declared war on us, didn't they? So, yeah, that's probably not great, is it? Okay, well, what can we do about that now? Not much. So, 
if I was not at war against the Vale, what I would do is actually attack the Bravosi if I could, because then that would expand Berengar's territory, as you can see here. His is all the way around here. He's got Norvoshi under his control as well, and this would make it quite nice. Wow, we actually own quite a lot of this territory right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, enough dawdling. We are going to be heading over to Mistwood now, I believe, and taking that. Or at least we'll do our very best to take it. Maybe we'll come across a couple of vassals as well. Wait a second, did you see that? I saw that. Let's take a look. Yes, look at that. A vassal of the Stormlands has been taken prisoner by House Reformia. Excellent. I would love to know what vassal of ours was able to pull that off because, believe it or not, Sir Clavis, I do believe, is currently a prisoner in the Eyrie, which is all the way over here. This over here, that is where he is prisoner, and I can imagine, considering it's built on a very large mountain that we are unlikely to be getting him back through normal means such as sieging with brute force and getting him back that way. I have a feeling that we'd probably have to disguise ourselves and potentially sneak in. Maybe that would be an idea. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea, but uh, other than that I have no clue how we're going to get him back because it is a rather... ah. It is a rather large territory. Are they really doing that? Ah. I really wanted to siege Mistwood, but I suppose we do have to go back for the defense. Uh, maybe we should have made it our fief. That might have been a good idea. Okay, so, yes. Pass by them. Thank you. It's only a small band of enemies, so I can only assume... Yeah, look at that! It's a small commando unit of Westerlands vassals. Okay, so we are moving at 6.3. There is no way they can escape. You will not escape us. And they actually have... Oh, this is where... Ah, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, they did actually defect from the Reach and made a new Westerlands faction. So, mm, I'm not able to convince him to join us, unfortunately enough. So, 116 of their units against 293 of ours. Something tells me we are probably going to be in a good spot here, but you never know. Mm, Tywin might turn up afterwards and cause us quite a great deal of pain, so we'll see. But I do believe, considering we have 75 cavalry, there is not much hope for them. Not much hope at all, but who knows, who knows. So, let's see, what can we do here? Okay, we're going to get our archers over here, our infantry out the front here, and maybe we'll get some cavalry over there. Now, can I use ranks? I do believe I can. Yes, there we go. Thank you very much. I want the archers to form ranks, and let's get our infantry in a shield wall formation, if possible. Thank you very much. And, the most important of all, we want a wedge. There we go, for our cavalry. Oh yes, they are going to be so incredibly deadly now. So, let's see what we can do here. I am... Hmm, let's see. Okay, we're going to take them over here. Oh my, this is going to be impressive. If we can pull this off, this is going to be amazing. If we cannot pull this off, then it's going to be very disappointing. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to. So let's get our archers there. Move our infantry up as well. Look at the formation. It's such a cool formation. Okay, we are at the side of them. We are actually getting pelted a little bit by their archers here. So this is not too good. Okay. We're just going to have to hope that our cavalry units use their shields as much as possible. And let's see, okay, infantry have to move a little bit closer there. And the archers will have to go here, I think. There we go. Okay, oh wow, they're actually just charging in. Okay, that is quite impressive. So let's just charge in our infantry. We're going to be charging in our cavalry now. And we're going to see what we can do with our lance. 
I'm gonna try and take out this fellow if I can. Or maybe not. Just gonna take a lot of damage myself. Ouch. There does appear to be a knight behind me, so that's not too good. I did do 48 damage to another of them, so that's pretty good. And I think... We did a pretty good job. <laughs> Are we doing a good job here? I have no clue, to be honest. I do believe that I should have told them to hold position but continue to charge. That would have definitely helped us out quite a bit in terms of doing more damage. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Oh well, okay. Maybe next time. Maybe next time, guys. I'll try to be a little bit better than I was this time, that's for sure. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of units here. That is for sure. Come on. Let's try to take these guys out. Oh no. There's too many in this one area and they're doing a lot of damage to us. Okay. You've done it now. You have seriously done it now. Let's do this. Blackfire hungers for your blood. There we go. Take them down. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. Take you out. Oh yes. Martin, kill him. Kill him, Martin. I need you to get the experience. Yes, he actually did as well. Excellent. Okay. Good. He is going to be ever closer to his next level. Now, we have lost more than they've lost, which just shows they had a lot of heavy knights. I gotta say, they had a lot of heavy knights. Wow. Okay. Reinforcements have arrived for us. Whoa, that's not good. Okay. Yes, it appears that my tactics were... Well, let's say quite flawed. It appears that they were quite flawed, unfortunately enough, but I will do better next time. I have just started using those formations, after all, and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get a little bit better at using them in the future. I would just like it if the formation itself would stick around even though you were telling them to charge in because at the moment when you tell them to charge they lose all of their formations so yeah a little bit unfortunate but hopefully they continue to keep some of their shape in the wedge formation a little bit and there we go one enemy remains a victory has been attained once again and maybe we're going to be doing a siege against the nearby Westerlands Fief. Hopefully eliminate them once again. Force another faction to be split in the middle. That might yield better results. But there you go. As you see, Carver stays alive and he gets 12 kills. We were only able to get 10, which is absolutely pitiful. But there we go. That's just how Carver rolls, isn't it? Oh yes, he is a very good companion indeed. So we have Sir Edgar here. And he doesn't have any knights, which is very good. So, let's take a look, shall we? Aha! Oh, that's a Vulture's Roost, yes. Vulture's Roost was the seat of the Vulture King. He rose up in rebellion during the reign of Daron II, proclaiming himself king. Supposedly, he was quite mad, often pretending to be a vulture himself, going around the castle with feathers stuck to his head, and eating rotten meat. Oh my. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, I think you can somewhat see what the problem is here. We have... 59 reach crossbowmen. Now, the only thing that they do not have is elite reach crossbowmen, and that is our only saving grace here. However, they are going to be proving quite difficult to take out. So, without further ado, let's level up Carver a little bit more, make sure that he is the killing machine he can be, the best one. Level up some knights here as well. Jonas has also advanced, so let's get him some more in strength, more in iron flesh. And we'll just level up some of our mounted sergeants here as well. There we go. Okay, so excellent. Now, let's head in. Let's build our ladders. Now, we're going to wait until tomorrow. Oh, we can't do that. That's unfortunate. Should I abandon the siege and wait? Let's see... I think we should be fine, surely. Should I? This is going to be risky. 
Okay, well, let's do it. Fortune favors the bold, as they say. Oh my. Oh dear. This is not good. Okay, well, let's just place our archers out here. We're going to be telling all of our cavalry just to charge straight on in here. I do not believe waiting for their elite reach crossbowmen, well, for their normal reach crossbowmen to do their damage is a very good plan. So, let's just charge in. See what we can do. Carver has already been taken out, unfortunately enough. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to be suffering quite a few casualties. But, we are also going to be inflicting a lot of damage ourselves. So... Let's do this. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I dead? No? I'm not dead, but I am going to be soon. Okay. Don't shoot me, please. Oh no. Okay. They didn't listen. They didn't listen, that's for sure. Okay. Don't shoot me from behind, please. Don't shoot me from behind. Please just let me pass by. Thank you. Wow, they actually did. Okay. Very nice. And now, let's do it. Let's creep up from behind them and do some serious damage. Oh, yes. Oh, no, we missed. He didn't move back farther enough. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to get taken out by this guy. Oh, no, I actually thought I was going to be. Okay, there we go. We're fine. We're both blocking. That is rather amusing. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're good. Take him out. Yeah. Come on, guys. Swarm them like the Zerg would do. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that turned quickly, didn't it? That emotion was like, oh, yes. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, that's great. And I kind of thought I would die here, but that is what you have to do. You have to take the chance. Ah, look at the bodies. Look at the bodies. Look at the blood. Look at the archery. Look at the arrows and the bolts. Oh my. Wow. Okay, we're sending in a lot of units to get slaughtered here because as you can see, their crossbowmen are too good. Their crossbowmen are too good, as you can see here. If I can actually get up here and the camera will cooperate with me. Look at that. These guys right here, they are the main reason why they are winning in my opinion. At the moment, they are just too strong. Okay. I'm actually going to retreat here. I don't want to lose any more units. That would be a bit of an atrocious thing to do. So, yes, they still have a rather large amount. We're going to be heading back to Broad Arch. And we're going to be rejuvenating ourselves. And what is this? Aha! You are a famous leader of men and you receive news that a group of knights wishes to join you. Oh, yes. They are definitely welcome. That is very, very nice to see. And let's see. What did we get? Hedge Knights! Excellent! Very nice. They are very good units indeed. Okay. So, first things first, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. And next time, on A Clash of Kings, we are going to be returning to Vulture's Roost and hopefully routing the Westerlands once again. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.